expand the awareness out there in the general public about the existence of this Trail, and Trail of Time exhibit at the Grand Canyon, truly a remarkable exhibit. And hopefully you can help me spread the word about our nature, culture, and history at the Grand Canyon website. I want to leave you with um, the, uh, the sense of the role that the Grand Canyon plays in creating a sense of awe and wonder and mystery uh, in our lives. The, the way that the Grand Canyon can um, create a sense of perspective on ourselves. When you sit there and you think about how old the canyon is, how old those rock layers are, how long it took to form that canyon, how long this earth and life on earth has been here. It really puts your own life in perspective in a way that isn't done normally when you're driving down the freeways in Phoenix trying to get to work, for example. It puts things in perspective. Um, this is a little video clip that um, I cut out of a, a Hollywood film from the 1990s called Grand Canyon. How many people saw this film, Grand Canyon, with Kevin Klein, Danny Glover, Mary Stuart Masterson? Not too many of you. It's a great film. It's called Grand Canyon. Lawrence Kasdan was the director, a great director. It's not really about the Grand Canyon, except at the end. It's about the craziness of life in Los Angeles. Uh, Steve Martin's in it, too. It plays a totally non-standard role for Steve Martin, kind of a comic but serious role as a, as a film director of slasher films. And he gets, uh, he gets mugged and shot at, at the beginning of the film, and he decides there's too much violence in the world, and he's going to give up slasher films. But it only takes him about six months to change his mind, and he's back at the drawing board because slasher films make a lot of money. In any case, there are all these different couples in the film who are all having troubles in their lives in different ways, and through serendipity, they're brought together, and they begin talking to each other. And it focuses on you know, racial tension and poverty and life in the city and just, just all the problems that, that our lives are filled with. And Kevin Klein and Danny Glover um, form a friendship, uh, and, and I won't tell you how or why. It's part of the plot of the film. It's really good. But here's a little clip where Danny Glover finally introduces in this film the Grand Canyon and the role that it plays. takes about nine hours from here. I know, we were planning to take my boy. How old is he? Fifteen. Fifteen. Probably won't want to go with you now. Probably go with his friends, his chick now. He missed that boat. What's his name? Roberto. Roberto. After Roberto Clemente. Oh, shit. Man, get yourself to the Grand Canyon. Beautiful, huh? Uh, it's just pretty all right. But that's not the thing of it. You can sit right on the edge of it, you know. I, I did that. I did everything. I went down in it. I stayed all night there. But the thing that got me was sitting on the edge of that big old thing. Those rocks. And those cliffs and rocks. They're so old. It took so long for that thing to get to look like that. And, and it ain't done either. You know, it's, it happens right while you're sitting there watching it. It's happening right now while we're sitting here in this ugly town. Thanks a lot.